first and foremost I take give all praises all honor and glory unto the Heavenly Father Yahweh Bashem Yahushai Bashem Makakwadash double honors to the apostles and the elders that do with the great stone peace and salutation to the Akia Mode pushing his gospel in sincerity and truth to Shalom to the humble and sincere sisters out there as well this is the brother Kalam from the GMS Shrine Camp coming back with another lesson entitled the importance of prayer you know um, prayer is a necessity prayer is mandatory you know it's only right that we, we pray to the Heavenly Father because prayer is the ultimate one of the most ultimate forms of a person's faith you know you are entering a secret place where no one could see you or you know you're praying in your mind where no one could hear you you know you're in this secret place and in all subjection in all humility and lowliness you bow yourself down to cast all burdens all fears all concerns unto the heavenly father right you have make, made yourself completely vulnerable right and is pleading and crying out to the heavenly father for whatever whatever you know you're praying for you're asking for you know and this takes faith in the sense that many people if they have problems you know in the world they solve it by carnal means in the sense that if a man is sick you go to the physician you know if he poor whatever the case is you know any tough times he would go to seek it out in the world but men or women that pray when tough times are upon them the first thing they do is run to the heavenly father you know they run to the heavenly father and this this, this whole scene with the poison that played off right when things was shutting down and you know men were were being denied access to, to, to many things right brothers losing their jobs you know instead of forfeiting you know men men prayed and asked the lord for we and you know here we are today holding firm surviving by the mercies of yahweh Hashem Shai. right so to, 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 to pray to the lord it, it is is to really believe a deep belief you understand not just a, a regular believe it a deep a deep belief in that when you pray you believe that the lord exists and that the lord as he said will hear your prayers and you believe that the lord will answer your prayers you know you pray in the hebrew and you believe you believe that the lord you know is present in this the lord the angels is sending these prayers unto the, the, the heirs of the heavenly father you understand so is the ultimate not i wouldn't say ultimate the, one of the most ultimate forms in, in in terms of displaying a man's faith because nobody could see your prayers right the majority of our prayers you know with the exception of the prayers that we may pray amongst each other the majority of our prayers are said alone and it takes a great amount of faith because nobody ain't seeing it you know you ain't doing it for nobody this is literally you and the lord right so you know, i just want to get into a few precepts here on prayer this is the book of matthew chapter 17 verse 21 it say or so that twenty I was shy said unto them, Because of your unbelief, verily I say unto you, if ye have faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye shall say unto this mountain, Remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. Albeit this kind goeth not out but by prayer and fasting. Right? So this was the Lord, you know, um, rebuking a demon from someone and you know he said these kinds go not out but by prayer and fasting so we say that so we see that by praying 
we are able to remove demons you understand we are able to remove demons from us you know from our bodies our temples and even from the temple of our temples in the sense that our homes you understand where we dwell you know and it, it would have to be you know like a demonic force it could be demons in the sense of in the form of temptation in the form of being inconsistent in the form of not praying there are demons that will prevent you from praying prevent you from doing the work prevent you from studying from reading prevent prevent you from fellowshipping you know that there are demons that that will manifest themselves in different ways and and ruin you right and yeah how was i saying here that you know through prayer and through fasting and fasting is another um extraordinary display of faith in the sense that you believe by afflicting your soul right you're not eating you're not drinking anything you enter in this 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 state this angelic state you know because you ain't eating you ain't drinking you ain't having sex you ain't focusing on anything of the world you're only focusing on the on the lord and you know in your and your praying is basically replicating the angels because the angels they neither marry nor are given in marriage right they don't have to eat and drink to survive you know and they only follow the they only study the will of the lord so you be, you become a big take on an angelic state in the in those moments all right and and to do that is an act of faith you understand it's truly an act of faith to, to, to believe a lot of people a lot of our people they are they are afraid to believe because the world has has broken them down so they are they are afraid of having hope because they are afraid of being let down you understand and that's because the lord hadn't hasn't blessed them with the the gift of faith only they like have that so no matter how many disappointments or how many afflictions and, and you know how many things happen to us in life lord will let me be of the like we, we we stay true to the lord and we stay true to, to our our core values and we continue to serve no matter the outcome you know i mean it's not not it's like i wouldn't say not no matter the outcome but no matter what may happen to us you know we we we, we keep our eye on the prize you know this is the book of psalms chapter 145 verse 18 it says Yahweh is nigh unto all them that call upon him to all that call upon him in truth he will fulfill the desire of them that fear him he will also hear the, their cry and will save them right so this is the lord you know this is the lord saying we see here that the Lord is near to them that call upon Him, and how is it that we call upon the Lord in prayer, right? And then we call upon Him in truth, and we call upon Him in sincerity. It says He will fulfill their desires; He will hear their cry, and He will save them, right? So the same way these people run to the physicians, they run to the government, they run to money, and these things to to, to give them what they seek. We always run to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai because we know that the things of the world come from the Lord, right? These bodies come from the Lord. Everything comes from the Lord, you know? So we rather go into the, the creation. We go to the creator. You know, we go to the source because we also understand that life is governed by the Heavenly Father, you know? So we, we, go, we go to the, 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 the head, right so it says he will fulfill the desire when we pray we don't pray in hopes that the prayers are not answered we all pray in hopes that we are we are heard and that we are and, and that our prayers are answered will be answered right so here it's saying he will hear their cry he will save them he will fulfill the, their desire right so in faith we know that and when i say in faith i don't mean some vain emotion 
when I say in faith, I mean in truth. Like, this is the reality. You know, that Yahweh Bashem Yon Shai hears our prayers. And the Lord will, will answer us. You know, it mightn't be any way we think it to be, but He knows best. This is the book of James, chapter 5, verse 13. It says, Is any among you afflicted? Let him pray. Is any merry? Let him sing psalms. Is any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick, and Yahweh shall raise him up. And if he committed sins, if he have committed sins, they shall be forgiven him. Confess your faults one to another, and pray one for another that she may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availed much. Elias was a man subject to like passions as we are, and he prayed earnestly that it might not rain. And it rained not on the earth by the space of three years and six months. And he prayed again, and the heaven gave rain, and the earth brought forth her fruit. Right. So we see in the power of prayer. It says, any sick, let him, let him what? Let him pray. Is any afflicted, let him pray. Is any merry, let him sing psalms. Right. And if he's sick, let him call for the elders so they could pray over him and anoint him with what oil in the name of Yahweh Shem Yishai. It said the prayer of faith. So not a vain prayer, not a, a doubtful prayer, but a prayer of faith, it shall save the sick. <laughs> right? And we know that sickness comes from what sin. It goes on to say, if he have committed sins, they shall be forgiven him. It says the, the effectual fervent prayer, right? So a sincere prayer, a, a prayer grounded in, in, in true care and true love, right? Of a righteous man avail it much, right? So your prayers could help your akyam. Your prayers could help your akwathyam. Your prayers could help you. And your brother's prayers could help you. Right? So we see the importance of, of, of prayer. Prayer is not just words, you know, that don't mean anything. There's there's power in prayer. It really there's really power in, 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 in true sincere cries. Last precept here, this is the book of Matthew chapter twenty one verse twenty two. And all things Whatsoever ye shall ask in prayer, believing ye shall receive. And this is Yahweh Shai, letting them know whatever you ask the Lord for in prayer, and you believe, you're going to receive it. Just as Peter was able to walk on the water for the time, for the little while, because he believed, he saw his Lord doing it, and he believed that he could have done it because of Yahweh Shai, and he did it. And he doubted and he he sank. Right? So pray. A lot of brothers, you know, mightn't pray as much. You know. They might it might slip them, you know, might focus on the work itself and you know, not really count prayer, but prayer is just as important as everything else that we do. You know, you need to do all, you need to do Every aspect, you know, when you're in school, you can't just focus on maths alone. You have to focus on all your subjects for that overall percentage to, you know, be proper. You can't focus, you can't get 100% on, if you get 100% on the maths and you fail the other nine subjects, that's only 10% and then you fail. Understand? So you have to, you have to aim, you have to aim to, 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 to be 
to get a passing mark on all the subjects, on all the aspects. Right? Your prayer, your fasting, your studying, your reading, you know, you're watching videos, you're listening to the apostles, the elders, the teachers. Right? You 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 you're going out there as well to do the work, you know. Helping out the Akim where you where you could, you know. And enduring this world. And you're not doing these things just so you're doing it because it is grounded in faith. You believe. You understand? That these things is what is is, is what is 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 what you're supposed to do. You know, can I want to say you will receive salvation because we all know that salvation will come from the mercy of the Heavenly Father and not of our works. But we do it because we love Yahweh Bashem Yahushai and we are grateful in that we have the, 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 the chance, the opportunity to salvation. You know? And we know that we, we read that this is what the elect would be doing and those that do these things would be of the elect right they would be of the lord's chosen and we love you about shem with all our heart and soul and might you know so as the hopeful elect and you know we strive to serve the lord so we, we do these things that are pleasing to him right in hopes of receiving mercy which will receive cause us to receive salvation and receive those immortal bodies entering into the everlasting never ending kingdom of our Lord. You know I'm with that I hope this was edifying. Give all praises, honor and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashim Shai, Bahashem Makakodash, Shalom.